G'day, I'm Aussie Mark. Thanks for stopping by my video. In today's no, video, Mark. in today's video, we're going to tell you about cloning. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen it before, but um, let me give you a brief run through of how it's done. Because because we are the three uh, three people here who are going to tell you what it, what makes it so easy to do and what makes you stand out by just using this simple effect. Let's go through it using uh, one of the most basic tools that we have, the VSDC free video editor. Take care. Stick with me. So this behind me is the easiest background that you can use. When you're going to do cloning, the simplest backgrounds you can get, preferably with vertical lines, is what's going to make your job easier. So as you can see, I'm pretty much standing with a vertical line either side of me. That makes your job a hell of a lot easier, because all you do is film yourself standing in this position. And then stand in this position so that um, the two images are not going to overlap. And then, of course, you just go over to the third position and, um, and box your uncle. So if I move over to here, make sure I'm standing this side of the vertical line. And yeah, you're going to um, gonna have no trouble at all. You simply cut it into three. One little, little uh, hint is make sure that you have your exposure locked. That's going to make things a lot, lot easier. One of the things that you've got to remember, of course, is that uh, you've got to allow time for the, uh, the other image to be speaking while you're standing there either listening to them or um, ignoring them, as the case may be. So um, in the first, uh, that first group of three, I didn't allow the time because I'm just speaking to you. So if, for example, I was going to do it again, I might stand back here and just go, um, you know, hi, my name's Ozzy, and then be looking. You know, looking here as if somebody's standing there right beside me. Look a few nods, a few, you know, whatevers. And make sure you allow that time. Fairly straightforward. Let's jump into VSDC so that we can see how to put it together. Okay, so here we are on VSDC, as you can see, and I've already loaded the three different um, sections of video footage that I want to make together to make it look like cloning. So this first one, as you can see, is me in the center of the, the screen. Um, if I move over here, and this one's uh, underneath, of course, the second one, let's show the cursor there. So here I am on that side. And then if I move it over to this one, here I am on that side. So there's three different versions. Obviously the camera hasn't moved. The camera was on a tripod, and that's very important when you're um, doing this cloning technique. So um, how do we get the three of you together? So in VSDC, it's pretty easy. You basically just click on the, um, the second one, the one that you want to be uh, joining in with the first one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. First of all, I'm gonna double click. So now I'm inside the second one, basically. As you can see, there's another tab here now. I'm inside the second one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a rectangle. Um, I'm gonna add a rectangle. Actually, is that the second one? Let's just go back here a second. Did I click the wrong one? Oh, I see. It looked like the third one because of where the cursor is. So I'm gonna move the cursor over. Whoops. I'm gonna move the cursor, get that out of the way. The selection tool. I'm going to move the cursor here somewhere in the middle. All right, so now that's better. So that's the side that I wanted to look at. So double click here. As you can see, um, at the moment, I'm just on this tool. I'm going to go double click. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rectangle. This rectangle here, it's going to click it. It's going to ask me, do I want to start from the uh, cursor position or the whole parent duration? In other words, that whole clip that I want to add. I'm going to select that and I want to lock the end position. So I want to get want it to go to the end position. So hit OK. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle around um, the part that I want to, to uh, have the second um, person in. 
So that's it there. Actually, I'm going to make this um, picture smaller so that we can see the whole window. All right. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's just undo that. I moved it by mistake. Okay, so what I'm, I'm clicked on this rectangle and the black rectangle is hidden. I mean, it's, it's hiding the area where I want to, the second character to be. So that's basically what you do. Now, what I do suggest here, a little tip for young players, where that line is could possibly be shown on the video. And um, to make it less obvious, we're going to blur that. So I'm going to go up to uh, video effects, go down here to uh, adjustments, down to, um, is it adjustments I want? Or, sorry, it's filters. Um, uh, Gaussian blur, I think Gaussian is how you say it. And do I want to apply this effect to the selected object? Yes, I do. So what I'm doing is I'm going, again, whole parent area. I'm going to lock it down to the end. OK. And what, what I've done is I've, if, if you open this up and it doesn't say true on here, just click that and use the drop down menu to change it to true. And then on the blur effect, can you see that line? Let me make it bigger so you can see it. See how that line is blurred? If I um, click here and make that even more blurry or even less blurry. Let's go all the way back down to zero so you can see. As you see, there's a straight line, but I want it to be blurred. I want the two to blur together. So I'm just going to blur that. Oh, I don't know, 25, 30 maybe. That looks about fair enough. Okay, so now what we do is we go back over here to um, the second tab. Click on this um, where it says blend, and I want to turn this thing into an inverse mask. In other words, what I want to do is I want to mask everything that's not that rectangle. So I'm going to go click on there, go up here to invert mask. And now if we have a look at this, um, go back to the original scene, this first tab here at the beginning. And um, if I now go to preview, there I am as the first person. And here comes the second one. As you can see, it's fairly seamless. So let's do that with the third one. Get rid of the preview. Do exactly the same thing. I'm going to move this cursor over the um, selection marker, should I say, over here to the third window. And I'm going to um, double click on that. I'm going to add a rectangle in the area that I want it to be. Um, oops, I'll make that video smaller so I can see everything. Okay, so add that rectangle from the whole parent operation to the end. Okay, and I'm gonna draw my, now I'm gonna remember I'm using this as a marker here, the, this line in the couch. So I'm gonna go over to there, and you can fix and change this. Right, to draw that in there, then I'm going to go up to my, I'm going to blur this line again. So I'm going to go to Video Effects, Filters, Gaussian Blur. Uh, yes, leave that the same. See how it's blurred on this side as well now. So that's basically all you need to do, except go back to the second tab and hit the uh, drop down menu on the side here and change that to inverted mask. See where the rectangle is, where that marker is. If you're not quite sure or confident about that, you can move this across here. You can adjust these still at any time. So now if I play the preview, let's see. So we've got two and where's the third one? There I am. Now I'm just going to stop this a minute so you can see a couple of things. See that line still a little blurred because for some reason this section seems to be darker than the other two sections. So you can make adjustments to that as well. I'll get out of that and show you what I mean. If I go back over here, you can see how this section here just appears to be slightly darker. You can adjust that by going up to, make sure you're on the selected to the correct video piece. That's this third one. And then add um, where are we? Go to video effects. This time we're going to adjustments. We're going to go to brightness, contrast, and gamma. If I 
move that out of the way. Remember, we're just going to leave that the same. And there's the darkness. And I'm going to change that darkness if you have a look at that. You can see here I can tweak these three numbers. If I, uh, that line seems to be a lot better. See how that line seems to have gone there? So I'm just playing with the numbers to try and get the three of them to blend in nicely. So let's go back and you can see if I play it from the beginning, there I am by myself. In fact, I'll just move this over to near the end and preview. So there I am as the first one. Here I can come in as the second one. And then if we move it, let's go across to the third bit, which is about there somewhere. It'll do. Hit preview. And there's the two of me, and here comes the third of me. So, pretty easy to do. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for, um, let me stop this. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this tutorial helps you if you've ever wanted to play around with clones and multiple images of yourself. And of course it doesn't have to be three, it can be as many as you like, two, four, whatever you want. Um, just give it a crack. Remember VSDC is a free video editor, um, so you can just download it and play with it to your heart's content. I'm Ozzy Mark, as I'm sure you remember, um, and if you haven't hit that big red supporter button of mine, please um, hit the subscribe button so that you'll be, um, become a member of my community and uh, get notified by hitting the bell so that you'll know when my next video comes out. Take care, guys. I'm going to play this video for you as we finish so you can see the finished product. Bye for now. So in this example, you can see there's no vertical lines. Well, there, there are some but um, I'm using the, the lines in the um, sofa so that, so that um, the clearly divided up without actually overlapping our images. So my elbow, my left elbow here is uh, hopefully not overlapping the, uh, yeah, the see, line where I've made the cut between the different pieces of software, us the different pieces of film, should I say. That way, the three of us um, can be on the same screen. We can just have a sharp cut between the um, three pieces of footage.